Good morning again from Melbourne Beach. Uh, for you uh, people who like to know exactly where Melbourne Beach is, we're about 25 miles south of Cocoa Beach, Florida, and about uh, 40 miles south of Cape Kennedy, Kennedy Space Center, and we're about 25 miles to Sebastian Inlet. Bavard County's finest surf fishing beaches and we're ready to go again. We've gotten down here to the beach and the first things first we grab our fishing rod again 12 feet reel that will hold a 20 uh, 25 pounds of monofilament line uh, there's a great many uh, suggestions that possibly Braid works better. You'll just have to practice with that. Monofilament is the quickest way to go and the best way to go to start out. Again, like I said, the reel and the rod. Point of fact, remember this about the rod and the reel. The rod fights the fish. The reel holds the line. If you're going to buy a reel, you don't need to buy the $500 reel. You know, a smaller a priced reel, more economical would be the way to go put a few more bucks into the rod, you'd be better off in the long run. So, we have our rod, got our line, and we need to put this baby together. If you'll notice, the rod is out of the sand, the reel is out of the sand, and I try to thread the line. A pompano rig is our basic rig used uh, for uh, Space Coast fishing here. Uh, it's a pretty simple rig, but it does the job on whiting, sheep's head, pompano, bonnethead sharks, uh, mackerel occasionally, and it's pretty much all purpose. It has a swivel at the top end, which is attached to your running line. It has a snap at the other end that's attached to the weight. So the rig would be like this with the weight at the bottom. I use a four ounce pyramid sinker. I try to use the four ounces or three ounces. I, try, I tend to go lighter than heavier. The snap goes on, it snaps and now you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, the rig then is 25 pound monofilament line to a dropper loop, another drop loop down to the snap swivel. 25 pound, this whole rig, whole rig has two knots in it. Originally the piece of fishing line was about this long and after it was tied it came out to be this long. They come in two or three hook varieties. You'll notice this one's got a little bead and the bead is obviously a visual for the fish. Hooks are number two wide gap gold hooks and that's pretty much the whole shoot match right there and is our standard. The knot will go over later on but it's a basic clinch knot, improved clinch knot, like I say, we'll talk about this a little later on, but it's not a real heavy duty type thing. You don't need to know 80,000 different knots to be able to do this. And you put on the weight. Once the weight's on, we're about ready to go fishing. So now that we've got our pompano rig on our fishing line, we're ready to go there. It's time to set our sand spike in the, uh, in the, to support our fishing. We go down here. I tend to like to be closer to the action. So I come down, I look at where the surf's coming up. We're on a low tide today, and I kind of uh, pick a spot where the water's getting to. My sand spikes are a little larger. 
and you work it back and forth till it digs into the sand. And once it's in the sand, you want to give it a little bit of a angle to the surf. So when the rod is in it, the, the pompano rig hangs away from the fishing pole. So I will get the fishing pole now. And after we've cast and the fishing pole is in the holder, you'll note that there's an angle here and your tackle pompano rig hangs away from the rod and the reel so it doesn't tangle or swing around the pole and tie up. If the wind is blowing and it's extra, extra windy, if you take the line, you take the fishing line and just Wrap it around the handle once, everything stays right where it's supposed to. And you can go get your bait and then come back and you have two hands to put your bait on. Getting ready to cast, you would then just take it off and you're good to go.